Hello, parents. It's Coach Stephen Martinez. I'm the health and PE teacher from 7th to 10th grade. Um, I'm also the varsity baseball coach. I'm going to go through my PowerPoint. Um, my name is Coach Stephen Martinez. Um, my contact information is here. Um, anything that's on my email, uh, contact me through the email that's on the screen, and I'll be able to get to you at any point in time. Uh, the Google Classroom codes that I have um, are only needed for students who are virtual or if somebody ends up getting quarantined, uh, that would be the only case where they would need these Google Classroom codes. Um, but they're all on my uh, Google Classroom. They're right here. They're on my syllabus as well. And my syllabus can be found on Google Classroom, each one of them as well. I'm going to go through my classes. Uh, all my PE classes, I have 7th grade, 8th grade, um, ninth grade for half the year of health, and then the second half they have PE. So this also pertains to ninth grade and also 10th grade. Um, typically how it's done is they get 25 points for dressing out and then they get 25 points for participation. Um, up until this point, they've only been getting graded on participation. So they've been getting 25 points a week on participation. Uh, which is never a problem uh, for the kids. I put pending next to dressing out because we're still trying to get a definite answer on whether they will be able to dress out and what the situation and what the protocol is going to be for that. So once that ends up being set into place, which hopefully can be soon, um, it will also be 25 points a week for dressing out. Um, typically, if they miss a day to where they don't dress out, I take off a certain amount of points. Um, but I also communicate with them. And at the very beginning, obviously, I'm going to have some leeway with that. But um, students who are virtual, uh, the assignments that they're going to have are going to be posted on Google Classroom each week. And it's going to be their responsibility to make sure that they sign in. I post it um, at the end of the week for the next week. So they should have all weekend to be able to see what's uh, being prepared. And the due date isn't until Friday at midnight. So they have plenty of time to be able to accomplish the exercises that are put on um, the Google Classroom. Um, it's not difficult. It's not anything that's hard. So um, it's their responsibility to make sure that they go virtual. I've been in contact with uh, my virtual students so far, so uh, and everything's going fine. I also have a study hall class. My study hall is 7A, 7th grade study hall. Um, this is a time for them to complete any work that they have. Um, typically, they come into the classroom and they have time to either do homework. Um, teachers will send me work that they have to work on and stuff that they have to do. So they always have something that they need to do. Um, and if they had a day where they missed and they were absent, study hall is also a time to where they can take makeup tests and, and make up that work so that they can get it taken on time and not have to quite bank on uh, Thursday after school makeups. Uh, they are also required to have an accelerated reading goal. They're tested at the beginning of each, at the first of the nine weeks. Uh, and then they get a goal and it is their job to accomplish that goal. I also am in contact with them uh, almost each and every class about that. I have um, a little website to where I can go and look at who has however many points and I'm in, I'm in touch with them and I let them know how much time they have left, what they need to start working on, how much stuff that they need, how many more points that they need to accomplish uh, and different things like that. So they, they do need a, a book, but as of now, what's been happening is they have a, or are supposed to have a library card that they bring with them so that if they can't bring a book, that they have an ebook that they can read online. Uh, but study hall is basically any time to, to do whatever work that they have that they need to finish and, and accomplish and, and work on. They can also study during that time. Health class is only for the first half of the year, and then they switch to PE for the second half. They're graded on homework tests, projects, and classwork. We have a couple of different uh, projects that we do, and tests are pretty straightforward. All the notes and everything that I have are posted to Google Classroom, so if anybody has any questions, they can contact me through my email and that's it. Have a good day.